A water cooling tower is used to cool water and is a huge heat exchanger, expelling building heat into the atmosphere and returning colder water to the chiller. A water cooling tower receives warm water from a chiller. This warm water is known as condenser water because it gets heat in the condenser of the chiller. The chiller is typically at a lower level, like in a basement. The cooling tower's role is to cool down the water, so it can return to the chiller to pick up more heat. How does a cooling tower work? The construction of the following cooling tower has axial fans mounted on top of the cooling towers. These fans draw cool air inside the tower and exhaust it through the top of the tower. The shafts of the motors are horizontal while the fan shafts are vertical. A right-angled gearbox is mounted at the base of each fan and a long drive shaft connects the drive motor to the gearbox. Warm water distributed across through the top of cooling tower and then distributed through some nozzles which spray the water into small droplets across the fill material. Gravity causes the water to cascade down across fill material to the bottom of the tower. The fill material causes the water drops to break into smaller water droplets which increases the surface area of water and allows for better heat loss through greater evaporation. The fan on top of the water cooling tower brings in air from the bottom of the tower and move it up and out in the opposite direction of the warm condenser water at the top of the unit. The air will carry the heat through evaporating water from the cooling tower into the atmosphere. Cold water then collects in the tower basin and is pumped back to the chiller condenser suctioned by the condenser water pumps. Controlling the cold water temperature leaving the cooling tower could be done through different control scenarios. It could be done by placing on-off controller on the cooling tower which stops the fan when the cold water temperature inside the basin reaches the predefined set limits. And then starts when the temperature rises above a predefined limit. Cycling the fan on-off places mechanical stress on the components, such as the motor shaft and couplings. A better control philosophy is to control the speed of the cooling tower fan by a variable frequency drive. The latter adjusts the speed of the fan in direct response to the condenser return water temperature. The VFD controls the fan speed by utilizing a temperature sensor in the cooling tower basin or return water piping. If the return water temperature starts to increase, the VFD increases fan speed to provide additional cooling of the water. If the water temperature is less than the set point, the VFD slows down the speed of the fan. The VFD drive could extend the life of the fan assembly compared to fan cycling option in an on-off control philosophy.